today? Today we are going to make a drum. Just like the monkey in the story, you're gonna have your own drum. You're gonna be able to hit on it with your hands, your fingers, your thumb. So with your thumb or your fingers or your hand, just like the monkey in the story. Now, when you're listening to the story, you can hold up cards like these. Um, if you hear me say fingers, you hold up your card that says fingers, just like we do in class. Or you hold up your, the card that says hand or thumb or drum. Okay, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with the next video. You're going to need some help. You can't do this on your own. You're going to need mom or dad or your sister or your brother or maybe your grandmother or maybe your grandfather or maybe, maybe an uncle or an aunt or one of your cousins or maybe a babysitter or anyone who can help you do this because you can't do this all on your own but it does make a very thumb drum. Oh, a thumb, no, a fun drum. So remember the words that we're learning today are drum, thumb, hand, and fingers. For this project, you need a can. It needs to be empty. You need a balloon. a rubber band, a pair of scissors, a pencil, some paints. I have some fun new ones. They're in bright colors. I have orange and blue and light green and dark green and purple and pink and another darker pink and yellow and white. I'm so excited to use them. First thing we're going to do is we are going to create the wrapping with which we're going to decorate our tin can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the tin can in the paper and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make a line here. And I'm going to make a line right here on the inside like this. It could be smart to use a ruler. I'm going to fold it. And then you can cut along the line. There we go. And now I'm going to take this part off. <gasps> I forgot something. You're also going to need a little bit of glue. Anyway, we are going to glue this to our can like this. But before we do that, we need to decorate it. I'm going to make my brush wet and then I'm going to pick out a fun color. I'm going to go for purple. I'm going to put water on the purple so that the paint wakes up and I'm going to draw triangles. You don't have to draw triangles. You can draw anything you want. There we go. And I'm going to draw smaller triangles. 
underneath and I'm going to color in the middle with pink. And I'm going to add some green circles because I feel like a bit of green. I'm adding water to the green and making green circles. Green circles. I have one, two, three, four green circles. Now I'm going to add some orange upside down triangles, more triangles, like this. Oh, it almost looks like a little face of a little bird. Do you see that? And another triangle here and another triangle here. I now have one, two, three orange triangles. Okay. And I am going to add some yellow. Oh, that's a bright yellow. Yellow squares here. like this. And I'm going to add half of a square here. And I'm going to add the other half oop, here. Remember, you can decorate any way you like. You can paint anything you want, just as long as you have a fun, happy drum. Okay, more blue. One, two, three, four stripes. And I'm going to add some more stripes here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to add half of a triangle here. And I'm going to add the other half here. Okay, the decoration for my drum is completely finished and I'm going to put it aside to dry. Like this. Okay, now I'm going to take my can, it's empty, and I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to cut off the bottom of the balloon like this like this. And then I'm going to open up the balloon and this is where maybe mom and dad or your older sister needs to help you. I need to cut off a little more of the balloon like this. Yeah. I need to stretch it over the can. This is not easy. Ask mom and dad to help you. There we go. Like that. And then I'm going to use my rubber band and I'm going to tie it around like this. So, done. My decorations are dry and now I'm going to glue them to my drum. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put glue on the edges of my paper. Like this. Okay. And then mom or dad or your sister or your brother or your uncle or your aunt or your cousin or grandma or grandpa or the babysitter are going to need to help you with this. And we're going to 
wrap it around the drum. See that? Like this. Now you can help mom and dad or whoever's helping you by pressing your fingers on the can and making sure that it dries well. And there we have it, our drum. You can hit it with your fingers. You can hit it with your thumb. You can hit it with your whole hand. Or you can take a pencil or a stick and hit it with that.